Every year, between 10 and 20% of babies worldwide need help to breathe at birth. Helping babies breathe is the cornerstone of neonatal resuscitation. The healthcare team has to perform many tasks to help a baby breathe. 13 to 26 million babies around the world will need help breathing at birth every year. Even with their help, around 1 million of these babies die. And 60% of these deaths are related to human errors. It's important that a baby starts breathing quickly after birth. If a baby doesn't start breathing, they can get sick or even die. This is a very stressful situation for the family and the healthcare team. Therefore, it is very important that the healthcare team is well trained and well prepared to perform each task of neonatal resuscitation correctly. Our research group aims to improve the care of babies as they enter the world. One way we're doing this is by improving how people are taught neonatal resuscitation. There are many different ways to learn neonatal resuscitation. Healthcare providers can learn through books, lessons, watching, rehearsing through simulations, and helping babies when they're born. Using simulation is a great way to learn. However, learning through simulations takes time, resources, and money. This means that many healthcare providers don't get to practice as much as they should or like, especially at hospitals where they don't have the resources or where neonatal resuscitations don't happen very often. To enable them to practice more, we have created Retain. Retain is a platform to train neonatal resuscitation, which includes many different strategies to help healthcare providers to maintain their skills and extend their knowledge. The Retain platform includes a board game and a video game, both based on real life cases. The board game is a fun and effective way for healthcare providers to practice decision making and communication as a team. In the video game, healthcare providers can individually practice their knowledge during a simulation, anytime, any place, and anywhere. Our research showed that healthcare providers using the Retain platform were able to improve their knowledge of neonatal resuscitation by 12%. The largest knowledge gain was observed in maintaining the baby's temperature, which is an important step of neonatal resuscitation. Performing this step correctly will help to prevent future babies from unnecessary risks and complications. Training can always be improved, it, it can always be made more accessible, and can always be more exciting and engaging so that people are actually motivated to train. The retained platform won't replace traditional training but will improve access to training for all healthcare providers. The Retain Games are an alternative strategy to support the training of healthcare providers. Another way we are improving medical education aims to unlock an expert's knowledge, which can then be shared with learners. We want to learn how experts are able to process information during fast-paced and complex resuscitations. Well, why not just ask them? When medical experts are asked to describe a procedure, they fail to share a remarkable 70% of the critical decisions required to complete the task successfully. Medical experts are like pro athletes. They need to respond to many pieces of information and make appropriate decisions, often in a split second. They need to decide how to act, how to use equipment, or how they will perform within a team. They may try to describe their thought process to you, but will likely not be able to give you the whole story. It's not that they're hiding information or that they don't know it. In fact, they know the information so well that they no longer have to actively think about it. Complicated tasks become second nature and over time, experts can complete them automatically. This makes it difficult to share all of their decision-making with a learner. So we had to get a bit more creative during a neonatal resuscitation, we record the experience from an expert's perspective, using special glasses to track where they're looking. Afterwards, experts reflect on the neonatal resuscitation by watching the recordings and are asked what they were thinking. The gained knowledge will be able to inform books, courses and simulations used to teach neonatal resuscitation. By unlocking experts' knowledge, and translating this knowledge into Retain, 
we will be able to improve the training of healthcare providers in Canada and around the world. This will ultimately lead to better care for our smallest and most fragile patients and their families.